Now, ABC5 Sports. In the past six years, Des Moines has hosted five NCAA championship events, but never the big dance. Come November, that may be changing. Des Moines has once again put in a bid to host the NCAA basketball tournament. Since being built in 2005, Wells Fargo Arena has been trying to land the tourney, but Des Moines' bid always comes up short. This time around could be different, though. Wells Fargo Arena hosted the NCAA Wrestling Championships and the NCAA Women's Tournament with great success. That can only help the case, and so should partnering with corporate sponsors and Iowa State as the host school. We've put together a local organizing committee. Last winter, Iowa State senior Brandon Jensen decided to walk away from football. Six months later, the former Ankeny star has a change of heart. Jensen returns to the Cyclones for his senior season on the defensive line, which is good news for a unit desperate for experience. Jensen started all 12 games last season, and he's ISU's only returning starter on the D-line. Jensen missed spring ball, but the time off could have been just what the doctor ordered. After four months away from the team, Jensen appears to be rejuvenated. D-line coach Shane Burnham says Jensen has become quite the mentor to his teammates. As an extra coach in the room. Jensen should find his way into the starting lineup when the Cyclones host North Dakota State in the season opener on August 30th. It's an 11 a.m. kickoff on Fox Sports 1. For Northern Iowa football, it's been back-to-back -back seasons without postseason play. By Panther standards, that's a drought. UNI has high hopes for 2014 and with good reason. The offensive line returns a plethora of experience, as do the wide receivers. Nail-biting losses kept the Panthers out of the playoffs last year, but a team loaded with senior leadership expects to win the close ones this time around. Of all the reasons for optimism, none are bigger than senior running back David Johnson, who's already UNI's fourth leading rusher of all time. We all have talked and read about UNI opens the season at Kinnick Stadium August 30th against the Hawkeyes. It's an 11 a.m. kick on the Big Ten Network. And if there's one thing we know about UNI, it's the Panthers will be ready for this one. Well, it wasn't quite the debacle of Dewey defeats Truman, but thanks to deadlines, sports sections today were headlined with Javier Baez struggles in big league debut. Not exactly. Baez was struggling until the 12th inning late last night in Colorado. Baez was 0 for 5. But with one swing of the bat, a bad night became a game Baez will never forget. His major league debut, Baez hits the game-winning homer. The Cubs beat the Rockies 6-5. to five. You're watching ABC 5 News at 6. We'll be right back. All right, I got one thing for you all. The saying goes, dance like nobody's watching. Fred Hoiberg did just that, except the entire college basketball world was watching. He said, well, you got Empire State of Mind on your iPad? I said, well, actually, I do, which was surprising to him. Uh, and then we just uh, we put it on, and yeah, I went to work. It shocked me. You know, I was in tears. I was happy for him. You know, it, it was more, it was funny, you know, afterwards when we actually saw it on Twitter and everything. And he just kept rewinding it. Hoiberg's dancing went viral overnight, and his moves come with mixed reviews. His moves aren't that great, but he's, he's a good guy. He was doing a little, uh, little, little swiggy thing going on. I don't know if he was a little doggy paddle or something like that. Say what you want about his moves, but any coach still dancing this time of year can do no wrong. He's the truth. He's the truth, <laughs> he's the truth man. I need, to, I need to pick up some of those, you know. Uh, hopefully, I'm, hopefully, I'm going to be doing this soon enough, you know, make the lead eight, make the final four, hopefully, you know, and I'm going to hear something like that, man. Coach is the truth. Let's go to New York! Yeah! <laughs> if the Cyclones can find a way to keep dancing into the final four, the mayor will have to find a way to dance to this. That move should do just fine. The Bulldogs just beat the number 13 team in the nation. You can see it on his face, and you can hear it in his voice. What a win for Drake. What a win for the program. What a win for these kids. Nobody loves Drake basketball more than Dolph Pulliam. To be able to call these games, it's a joy for me. I'm happy when we win. I'm not happy when we don't win. As a senior, Dolph led Drake to the Final Four in 1969. He started calling games on the radio the very next season, and four decades later, he's still going strong. When people think of Drake basketball, they think of Dolph Pulliam. 
There's no doubt. I mean, look at the people that come up to him before the game who want to talk to him. Heck, they come up to him during the game. And when it comes to the radio broadcast, Dolph isn't shy about making his love for Drake known. This is amazing. This is this is just it's just unbelievable. Nobody enjoys a win more than Dolph. He is Drake basketball. He loves Drake basketball. It drives him crazy when things aren't going well for the Bulldogs. And nobody takes a loss harder. The last game that they played in the NCAA tournament, I can remember when uh, the kid from um, Western Kentucky made that last shot and as he slid on the floor in front of our broadcast table, I stood up, I just lost my head, and I just stood up and said, I could just choke that kid. And, and I was on the air when I said that. Dolph's passion for Drake clearly is as strong as ever. But after spending a lifetime in Des Moines, Dolph's family convinced him it's time to come home. Iowa has had you for nearly 50 years. And they said, you're the last one in the family that's still working. We're getting older and moving into that last chapter of our lives. We want you home with us. This spring, Dolph will retire. He's moving to Chicago, but there's still a few games left to call. It's a sad day for me. It's a happy day for me, and I'm ambivalent both ways about this. Dolph came to Drake for an education. Nearly 50 years later, he leaves with a lifetime of memories and a second family here in Des Moines. Without Dolph Pulliam, Drake basketball will never be the same. In Des Moines, Joey Danya, ABC5 Sports.